A popular Western New York summer event has a new home this year. As you may remember, the Thunder on Niagara Air Show was canceled earlier this year because of the pandemic, but we learned today it is still going to happen. Yeah, but with a new name and in a new location. The event is now going to be called the Thunder on the Buffalo Waterfront, and it will take place over Lake Erie. So the dates are the same, June 19th and 20th. That is Father's Day weekend. And joining us live to talk more about it is Ben Kennedy, the air show director and also a pilot as well. Thanks so much for coming on tonight. Appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, so first let's talk about this change. Um, how do we get from the air show being canceled to, to the good news that you shared today? Well, it was a lot, long time in the work plan, this thing about a year and a half, and then just for, unfortunately, we couldn't host at the Air Force Base for COVID reasons, um, and the military decided to, we weren't going to be involved. So from there, we partnered with uh, Buffalo Waterfront Management Group and set it up for down at the Buffalo Water Harbor. This has got to be such an immense undertaking to plan in the first place. So now you have a new location for the air show. So how is that going to change things? Uh, yeah, it's absolutely. To switch this thing around in less than two months and pull this thing off is quite the undertaking. But that being said, we think the backdrop of uh, Lake Erie and downtown Buffalo is going to be an incredible event for all of us. We are Buffalo is one of the only cities on the Great Lakes that never had an air show over the water, and now we do. Oh, well, so it's going to be kind of a first. I have to say, uh, um, I'm being a little selfish here, but I, I'm going to have a great view from my rooftop now, whereas I wouldn't be able to see it if it were up in the falls. Um, what can people expect in the days leading up to the air show and then on the actual days of the event? Well, you can see a lot of loud, fast airplanes coming and going in the Western New York area. Um, and they are based out of the Niagara Falls Air Force Base, even though it's not being held there. Um, but you're going to see a lot of loud, fast jets up and down the river practicing. And then uh, just the show location, the Buffalo Water Harbor. This is the kind of event that sometimes you get some some new fans, but there's often people who this is, you know, something that they really look forward to. It's a favorite every year. What's been the reaction so far from everyone involved about moving to the waterfront? Well, I was just as disappointed as anyone else when we had to pull the plug on it. But now that we've revived and announced it today publicly, uh, the excitement is unbelievable. The support from the Western New York community has been unreal. So we can't do this by ourselves. So from everyone in Western New York to help pull this thing off, um, the, I'm very grateful and I'm sure our fans will be too once the show goes on that weekend. I'll ask you kind of a, a two part question here for people who have never seen the air show up in Niagara Falls. Um, give us kind of a, a sense of what they can expect if they're able to see it this year. And and I, I think correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think I know you're a pilot. Are you participating or, or what do you most look forward to in terms of uh, what's going to be happening with the show? Um, first of all, I am um, a pilot, but I will not be flying in the show because I am producing the show, so I'm going to be busy on the ground. Um, but the lineup is incredible. The Blue Angels are the best in the world, and they're headlining this year's air show. We have uh, F-16 Vipers. We even have the Canadians send us down their F-18 fighter jets uh, demonstration team, so we'll be launching out of Canada to fly in the show. Second largest aircraft in the world is a C-5. You don't see that one too often, and you're going to see about 500 feet over the uh, waterfront downtown Buffalo, so it's going to be quite a sight. The lineup is spectacular, and the, this air show always pulls in and I'll star studded lineup. So, yeah. And I'm Ben, oh, sorry, Ben, uh, and quickly too, I know that the there aren't a, a lot of people who are able to go. There is a limited amount of ticketing. So how can people, if they want to be able to see this, how can they be able to see it? So if you go to a Buffalo uh, water, or a Thunder, um, Thunder on the Buffalo waterfront.com and there's a ticket link there that will be live tomorrow for the general public. It has all the information on tickets and pricing. But to your point, we are very limited due to the restrictions that we agreed to with New York State and Erie County. So we're lucky to even have that. Um, but there are very limited tickets fast. So we hope those that are very interested get their tickets fast before they're gone. And the good news is you can always look up too. Ben Canetti has been our guest. He's a pilot and the director of this air show. Thanks again, Ben, for your time tonight. Thank you. All right, looking forward to that. Changes, but still making it happen. Still doing it, yeah. yeah. You can just go to Michael's roof and watch if you want. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. That's going to do it for the Town Hall, but Channel 2 News at 6 is up. After